Hi guys, this is Jen with Unchained Crochet. Little bum tonight. Uh, found out this morning before I went off to work that uh, my video debuting this shawl was um, somewhat, whatever you call it, flagged for copyright. And um, so I will be deleting that. I was dancing and it was fun. So you'll get the boring watered down version. This is me. This is my shawl. <laughs> Poor me. So can't dance without my music. But anyway, we'll go on to talking about the shawl. It's basically a window pane design. You got two double crochet and then chain one space. The body of the shawl is Red Heart. Roll with it. It's a three quarter of a square shawl. With two points in the back and then two points in the front. The trim is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and I do love it. Let me adjust this angle here. It's here. I love this yarn. It's very soft. It has a nice uh, bit of a halo to it. Doesn't feel like it's going to pill much. The Roll With It Melange uh, by Red Heart is just so nice to work with. It has a nice hand. It's a single ply uh, worsted weight, as is the I Love This Yarn. Um, so this is the debut of this shawl, and it's quite large. The name of it is Larger Than Life, and um, we'll have a video series coming up on that. I wanna talk a little bit more. Once again, this is a do-over, so uh, pardon me if you have watched the other video. It's going to be going away. Um, but I want to recap the Christmas projects I did and my mission statement for my channel and what my goal is with this. So, um, so for Christmas presents, I began around September, maybe mid-September last year, and I made my husband a hat and a sweater, although I didn't get his sweater done until after Christmas. And it was going to be a hoodie, but uh, he was pressing me, and uh, the Karen Big Cakes feels like you're stitching with rope sometimes, especially if it's not an item like a blanket. So um, he was pressing me to get it done. And when are you going to get it done? When are you going to get it done? And I, I finally just stopped, and it, the hood became a collar. So he looks really cute, and he had it and his hat on the other day, and wearing all his Jenny garb, and just looks so handsome in it. Um, I did five little girl sweaters, uh, all of them similar, just different sizes, my own design and my older granddaughter, who is three, got hers that day and that night her parents tried to get her to put her PJs on and she started screaming. She didn't want to take off her Nani sweater. So it's called Nani sweater because that's what they call me. Um, and then my younger granddaughter. Uh, she kept telling everybody it was her Nani sweater, so it, that's how it got its name. Uh, let's see, one great niece I made um, a blanket for, a Ten Pointed Star, and then I did two uh, Saturday sweaters, uh, one for my older daughter and one for my mom. They look great in them. I'm very happy with that pattern. Uh, and I did all that while working on items for myself and the show. Um, did not have the show in mind yet, but uh, it was kind of inevitable. Um, I want to be able to share my experience and my techniques and what you can get by with what, what you usually can't when you're crocheting and when you're designing especially. So um, that is that. So let's talk a little bit about patterns. Most patterns I come across, um, I can't find exactly what I'm looking for. So that's why I usually will look at a pattern, get inspired, and tweak it a bit, make several changes, and then I come up with, it becomes my own, basically, because there's so many changes. Um, but a lot of patterns you find on blogs through Pinterest. We're all Pinterest junkies nowadays. And uh, blogs can be a rabbit hole. You get to the blog, to try to find the pattern you've seen on Pinterest 
And what do you know, it's a dead link. Or it's somebody who just has a list of 20 of the best, you know, 2020 sweaters, crochet sweaters and um, that kind of thing. And they've got all these pictures and in between is litter, litter of ads, 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 ads. And then you click on an ad on accident as the page is still loading on your phone. And then you're trying to make it back to the blog so that you can click their link that you don't see there anywhere that they said it's there below the picture. You may finally find the pattern and then you got to log in to two or three sites to pay and check out and download. So um, it can be quite a hassle. If that's what you want to do, you go for it. <laughs> I got tired of it. Um, so I'll look at a picture, I'll get inspired and I usually just come up with my own. Uh, it's nice to carry a printed pattern and I am going to have, uh, once our viewership is up, we'll start some live shows and have live chat and troubleshoot, kind of a triage night for your crochet. And um, we'll do some crossover crafting, maybe some knitting, I do knit. Uh, just not as uh, prolific as I am with crochet. So, um, let's see, what else? The um, thing with patterns is, it's kind of like teach a man to fish deal, you know, give him a fish, teach a man to fish and he'll be fed for life um, with a pattern. You get a pattern, you maybe make it, and uh, you may not ever touch it again, so you've paid five bucks and made, made one item with it, plus bought your yarn and your hook. So, um, you know, you have to look at the value of that, and if you're gonna learn something from it, great. You know, learn a new technique, but there's so much you can learn on YouTube, not just my channel, but so many channels, and it's free information, so. Um, if you want to get that special pattern or that book, I do recommend a good, um, stitch book, uh, stitch, dic stitch dictionary. Uh, this one is mine. I've had it for years. It's even got moving tape on this spline because it started to come off. I, I forgot I even did that years ago, I guess. So it's knitting and crochet. There's some Tunisian crochet. You can see where I... Marked a pattern I was thinking about using, you know, when I was knitting. So crochet here. And there's stitches available as well on blogs and Pinterest. Um, I'm not a big crochet chart user, um, especially if it's one that's got a lot of rounds and they all look kind of blah all together. So I can try to avoid that if I can. Uh, but I want to take you on a crochet adventure. Uh, I, I think that life's too short to always be a cookie cutter person and um, though I've not published any patterns other than one knitting pattern years ago, um, I have an abundance of experience. I'd like to offer help to others who have a passion for the same art. So um, I feel really bored without the music. <laughs> Um, that's it for this video. Be looking out for the Larger Than Life Shelf uh, series that we're going to have here. And I will catch you on the next video.